Dear friends, this is my first message to our, our parishioners and to our friends. Father Stephen made a very brave and good attempt at the weekend, so this is my attempt. So I hope I don't get it wrong, uh, because I was teasing Father Stephen, Stephen mercilessly, so hopefully I, I can get the message a bit better across. It's been a very strange weekend without you. We've missed you at the Holy Mass, we've missed you being together at Mass. It was Mothering Sunday, and so before I say anything else, lots of love and prayers to all of our mothers, uh, to all those mums who are stuck at home, those mums who are having to self-isolate and haven't been with their family this weekend. Our love and our prayers, especially for you. I know my mum will be watching this, so my love and my prayers to my own mum. I love you lots, mum, so bless you and stay well and stay healthy. And to all our mums, lots of blessings and prayers. But it was a strange Mothering Sunday to be at church and to not have any of you there. And so you'll never hear a parish priest say this again, but thank you for not being at Mass. It was good that you didn't come. It was right that you weren't there. And so I was at church at the time of all the Masses and nobody was there. It was very sad, it was very strange, but also it was good that you've taken the message seriously, that you're staying home. That's the important place to be. So please stay home and, and keep praying and keep well. We're still praying for you and we're still saying Mass every day for you and we're taking you to the altar with us. So we're united in prayer and worthy as we are to celebrate the Holy Mass for you and with you, that's what we'll be doing. I remember a few years ago here in Broomfield Hospital, uh, called out to see a young child who was dying and the father said to me as I left them, Father, take my baby to the altar. And I did, and I, I prayed that day at Mass for the child. Thanks be to God, the child recovered and is now six years old, uh, a wonderful child now. But I'll never forget that moment of that father saying to me, take my baby to the altar. Friends, that's what we're doing for you every day. We're taking you to the altar with us. We're praying for you. You're there with us at Mass. We're taking you to the altar. So our prayers are, are with you all the time. Please don't forget that you can call us at any time. You've got the telephone number for the... Uh, parish office, call that at any time if there's anything you need, particularly to our parishioners here in Chelmsford. If you know anyone that, that needs some help or is uh, stuck for shopping or whatever, if we can help, we will help. Uh, but let us know, so don't be afraid to call or to email. That's always a good thing to do. So if you can email, then please email. It's a very strange time, and it's not uh, one that any of us would look for, but here we are. So take courage, remember that God loves you, remember that he's holding you in his hands. Always go to Our Lady, ask for Our Lady's prayers every day, and be assured that we're praying for you and that we're united in prayer and that you're not far from our hearts. We're missing you and we look forward to being together again when that can happen. But for now, keep up the prayers, stay home, stay safe, and God love you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.